Oh my god. I'm just kidding y'all. It's water. <laughs> hey homies, what's up? What's happening? How are ya? So I really hope you guys like the different ambiance. What the fuck that man? What the fuck is that? Oh you know what? Let me let me go get my number one homie. <laughs> one sec. So this is the homie Richard. He's kinda shy. He just wants to pop it for a, a little get together. What's your name? What's your sign, boy? Tell him. He's giving out too many demands. I should dispose of him. Your excuse. <laughs> so today, homies, as you read by the title, we are gonna be doing 13 reasons. I could do a hundred reasons why, but I I hope you get the you know the, the sequence of events that's happening here. 13 reasons why. 13 reasons why I hate school. Okay, you get it. Let's get into this video. I'm just so distracted. I think I got ADHD. I don't even know. Damn straight you do. I'm running down my reasons. As you can see, I'm not very prepared. Well, this is from this video before they start busting in the room. Okay. Reason number one why I hate school. I gotta wake up at the ass crack of dawn. When I say that, I literally mean it. I gotta wake up at six when the freaking sun comes up. But do I really? No, I wake up at 6.40 and I get to school 10 minutes, five minutes before the late bell. I'm just living on the edge. Reason number two why I hate school. When I have earbuds in and some annoying pupil wanna have the audacity to talk to me when they know damn well I got two earbuds in Blocking out the haters. Like, don't you see me? Don't you see me trying to live my best life at school as I can with some music, some good, some good music playing in my earlobe, jewels, whatever they call, whatever. That's reason number two is over and done with. Let's get to number three. All right, reason number three. Reason number three is, and it's rarely that I have food at school or have money. Cause I just don't bring my money cause I know I'm tempted to buy something that's not good for my intestines or my freaking liver or whatever the heck, my pancreas. Um, so reason number three is when I have food and people wanna ask for some more than twice. Okay, the first time is like, yeah, I'll give you some food. I'll help somebody out cause it sucks being hungry. And then you ask again, I'm like, okay, I could give you some again. But the third time, now that's when you cross the line of acceptance, honey. The third time is like, okay, there's crumbs at the bottom. Either I have them or you have them. You have them. You satisfied. I don't have them. I'm starving. It's the end of the world. <laughs> it just makes sense for me to have the crumbs and you starve and then wait till lunch. You know what I'm saying? You going home. You ain't going to die. All right. Reason number four. I'm pretty sure most of my subscribers can relate to this one. Is when the ass kisser in the room says, teacher, can I read? And the teacher's like, who are you? You want to read, mija? Well, you're gonna have to wait because we're doing popcorn. You know popcorn? One person reads and they say popcorn and the other one does it and then they say popcorn. So you're gonna have to wait, Mika, until it's your turn and then you can say popcorn, okay? Oh, but I wanna... No, 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 Mika, espera. Just wait till it's your turn, okay? You're almost there. You're at the end. I'm telling you, I hate those people. What, like, like why can't, why can't you wait till it's your turn? Like, for me, I don't wanna read. I be... Let me show you how I be reading. This is a Spanish book too. Read different, read, read. <coughs> is that read or read? <coughs> read using <coughs> different techniques, <coughs> technic. Go, como. Oh hell no, my dad's back in the room. You better not come in the frame. You better, you better not. Everybody gonna be in the comments. Oh my God, you look like him. I know I look like him. Is that a blessing? No. You are dismissed. Damn, these kids. They don't understand what it's like to be a G. 
Okay, well, he ruined that scene, but I'm pretty sure you get the gist. They didn't close the door. I'm telling you, Mexican parents never close the damn door. Nah, I can never get no privacy up in this. Hey, reason number five why I hate school. This reason really, re really pushes down on my abdomen, my, my buttons. <sighs> when the teacher assigns dumb, useless assignments, like at my school, we got something called Harkness Discussions. <sighs> so what you gotta do is you gotta read an article and then you have to do notes on it. Mm. Teachers, assignments like those don't help. I'm just saying. Just saying. All right, reason number six on why I hate school. You know, it's six period. I'm, I'm setting a scene right now. It's six period. You're done with all your work, which is rare for me, just saying. Just saying. Freaking all this stupid, itty bitty, titty witty assignment that your teacher gave you that day. You're done with all that. And all you wanna do is sleep, right? In class. And you wanna go on your phone, you know? You And the teacher won't let you. You gotta sit up straight, either read a book or look at the ceiling. What happens, I can't even breathe in that class. I can't even. <coughs> I can't even sneeze. They'll go. Who's breathing in my class? I'm just saying. Just saying. Like it's so dumb. Just let me sleep. I need my I need my designer bags under my eyes to go away. Mm -mm -mm. All right. Before we get into this next reason, I just want to clear some up. At my school, you're you can buy slushies and all that jazz. You could buy sugary drinks, all that. My school's fat, but anyways. <clears throat> Seventh reason on why I hate school. This is when you buy a slushie at lunch and you don't finish it, so you try to take it to class. But your teacher's like, uh, I'm gonna need you to finish that outside or throw it away. I literally have a millimeter of slushie left and you want me to throw it away or finish it outside? I mean, I'd be more than happy to finish it outside. I'd be happy to stay outside. I'd be happy to go home and finish it. That's reason number seven. All right, reason number eight why I hate school. This reason I'm sure is so relatable. So this, this is when you say, oh, your mom's in a good mood today, or your dad, your grandma, your great aunt, your cousin, somebody's in a great mood and they bring you food for lunch, okay? And then all of a sudden, when you get to your table, there's all sorts of animals at your table, like, like I'm talking zebras, giraffes, porcupines, animals. And suddenly they become nice. And then they're like, can I have a bite? Can I have a piece? Can I have a drink? Oh, you wanna be nice? You were nice to me last week when I asked you for the answers from the test. Hmm? Hmm? Chew on that, Shaquisha. <laughs> reason number nine. This reason is really, 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 really basic. But it is something that I need to address. Teachers, when my hand is up, up in the sky, up in the clouds, on the wall, up, up like this, Five fingers in the air like I just don't care? That means I know the answer. That means I wanna participate. That means I want my 100% participation points. But when my hand is down, like on my lap, like under my lap, like in my backpack, like freaking in my desk so you don't see my hand, that means I don't know the damn answer, cuz. Teachers, teachers, teachers. Mm -mm -mm. It's crazy, it's hard out here for a pimp. Reason number 10 on why I hate school. This one really gets under my skin because it's so relatable. Let's just say, I don't know, freaking, let's come up with a name. Let's say Jermaine. Jermaine's a girl. Let's say she's talking to you, AKA me. Let's say she's talking to you and she's, she's talking about this certain person, how she doesn't like them and how she doesn't F with them and how she doesn't like the way they act, and how they eat, and how they breathe, and how they blink, and how they freaking talk. She just doesn't like them. And then, 
the next morning at school on Snapchat, you see that I was Snapchatting her saying, happy birthday, I love you, happy birthday, Shaquanda, happy birthday, Nalaya, H happy birthday, I love you. Happy birthday, Ravens! Okay, sweet. And you're just like, okay. Never talking to you again, that's for sure. Reason number 11. It's because you just can't have fun at school. I mean, unless there's like a rally or something or like a, a game to go to, or if you like get out of class early for like a certain reason, but you just can't have fun at school, bruh. Teachers really be wild when they say, you guys wanna get outside, have fun. Y'all, it's a damn hot box in here. I, I gotta get out. Okay, woo, that's better. So where was I? Okay, this reason's kinda dumb and it's kinda disrespectful, but anyways. You know, when you got your feet propped up all nice and comfy, nice and swagalicious, you know, you're like, I'm comfortable, I got my feet propped up on the other chair, and then the teacher come, I, I kind of get this point of view, but I'm, I'm just going to say it just to say it. The teacher come around and says, Oh boy, I'm really comfy right now, you really got to do that to me. Reason number 13. I'm gonna be straight up with you. <laughs> Reason number 13. Actually going to school. The actually doing the act of going to school. You gotta wake up. If you a girl, you gotta get ready because you can't go to school looking like a bum. I mean you can, but you're gonna be looking ugh. You're gonna be looking you gonna look in the bathroom mirror and you're gonna be like <laughs> That's reason number 13. All right, homies, without further ado, I hope you enjoyed this video. As you can tell, I'm running out of ideas. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed my effort of trying to film a video. You know, I, I really did try, I'm not gonna lie. Like I, oh my God, sis, why are you getting so dark? But I, I really did try for this video. I wrote down all the freaking, 13 reasons why I hate school so yeah but without further ado I really hope you can get me to 90 subscribers homies we are so mother freaking close I'm telling you we're how many are we away we're six away from 90 come on homies I know you can do it I know you could pull me up there I know you could pull me to the 100 gang squad I know you could do that for me Please, homie, for me. <sighs> um, but yeah, without further ado, I'm going to sign out this video by saying like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I'll see y'all next time.